What's, What's up? up? This is Draco. And this is Alicia. And you're and now tuned in to OD, OD Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> Period. Welcome. You've got mail. No, you've got podcasts. <laughs> oh, Periana Sequana. Hi. Yeah. <sighs> What's up, Hi. Draco? Man, just been a weird week, man. Um, and then on top of that is weather. What's going on? I'm actually. Oh my god! I just took the trash out, and I obviously I just got on a t-shirt and a leggings, and I'm like, "Hold on, where my snow boots at?" It's cold, but I'm actually feeling it. I love it because I'm I, I over the quarantine. I probably bought. I'm looking at it right now. I probably bought like eight hoodies, some jackets. Like I love hoodies. I love sweat. Me too. I love a, a good crew neck. Yeah, no, I like hoodies. I ain't with the crew neck. Give me a hoodie. I mean, um, well, hoodies don't work well with my hair. So, well, I mean, they do, but it just be like if I want to wear a ponytail, like I don't want my hair to be sitting in a little cubby hole on the back of my neck. Okay, <laughs> just so you know, you got a long hair, go. Anyway, <laughs> um, that was wigs included. <laughs> oh, I, that's cool. Um, let me just throw this out there. Um, I want my cell phone bags. I did the bag security program, and I, I was like, you know what, I can wait on them. Yeah, and now that yeah. I see that they keep dropping bags in between and people keep getting their bags, I'm like, I should have just freaking waited and just got them because I really want my bags so so bad, but whatever. I really want to sell my brown one. I should have gotten a like funky color. Like I should have got like um so I really want the ox blood one. Cause they got that one now. I want that one. And I mean the brown one I got because it's very like neutral and I and I like it, don't get me wrong, but I don't want two of the same bag, like same size bag. So I'm a, I was I had a friend what, that was, um other color you got that's big like that. No, I don't carry big bags. I'm saying all. you got the you got two of the medium size? I got one small, one medium. The uh, silver, okay. the silver small. Remember I, I had a second small one but I sold it to my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I just want a, a like fun color. I just was trying to be all neutral and stuff, but it's this this is gonna sound like such a flex. <laughs> but it's this MCM bag I want <laughs> that's brown. <laughs> okay. No, I mean they ain't no flex. <laughs> but um I was talking to my man today. So to so give some background, y'all know I've been talking about getting a car for the longest. And yes. so now that I have solidified the car that I want, I kind of really want to buy it, but I just don't think it's smart. Like my car still drives. I don't know who the president going to be 2021 and I don't know what that could mean for my stability. And so he was telling me today, he was like, just get a bag or something. Like just, you want to spend some money, just get yourself a nice bag. And, um, and then we can, we can talk about the car when, you know, maybe at the top of the year. And I was like, you know what? It is this MCM bag. I want. It's like 600. It ain't that bad. But, and I ain't even no bad girl, but the bag is cute. So anyway, um, I would prefer that to be my go-to brown bag for that size. Yeah. And then um, if I want like a little fun color, then I would use the Telfar. Because I feel like Telfar has really fun colors. So I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just, I've grown to really like bags. I'm glad that um, the purse and bag culture has, is now gender neutral. Um, I've always been a person that wore like bags even before um the fanny pack thing. When we was in HSC, I wore a fanny pack. So yeah, I've always I, been like I feel like fanny packs low key always stayed on the scene, but it just rotated between different style groups. <laughs> yeah. So now, now that I think because even the other day I was um I was at this studio and this boy walked in, a rapper, and he had the hugest fucking Chanel purse I've ever seen. It was I don't know if you've seen the Pharrell collection with Chanel and he had the really mm-hmm. big Chanel bag. He had that on. So I'm like, that's just ignorant to just be walking around with. But that's a flex. It that's was like bigger flexier than, than the MCM bag. Yeah, and it was full of shit. That's the thing. It was full. Like <laughs> I'm like, this thing bigger bigger than the damn duffel bag. And it was so full. But um I I like bags. I um I don't think that I'm going to go too far into the designer thing. I'm actually um, making sure that I pay attention to who I spend my money with. And not saying that I didn't do that before, but um, when it comes to like shirts and stuff and clothes, um, for the most part, I do kind of shop cheap. Like I definitely am an H&M person. Like I love H&M. I like little simple stuff like that, Zara. Um, But now I follow a lot of... um, like independent designers on Instagram. So I've been investing in that. And even though I did have my little moment, Oh, first of all, why we on that subject? Why the fuck did I run into Cardi art on Saturday? This has been a really weird week. I ran in Atlantic station. 
future resident. But um, <laughs> so you how did that go? Girl, we was across the sidewalk from each other. Like he was on one part of the sidewalk. He was on a date. He was with a girl. And I'm like, look, and I had my glasses on. So I'm looking, I'm like, and I put my glasses on just to make sure. And he was like trying to turn his head. And I was like, that is fucking him. So my friends was like, you want to jump him? But I'm like, uh, hey. wherever they was going to eat, when it was time to pay, I'll take that. <laughs> that's what you should do. Period. Dang, that's yeah, I ran into him. But that, that that didn't stop me from um ordering from black businesses online. Like I ordered, this girl made, she's selling like an airbrush. You know how people have like the tribute shirts? Yeah. She got one with left eye on it. I ain't never seen nobody do one with her. I would see like Aaliyah or somewhere else, somebody else, but she got one with left eye, so I bought it. I actually bought a shirt from this girl. Came across her, came across her page. The shirt is so fucking cute. I realized I ordered that shirt in June and I ain't got it yet. Mm, we don't like that now. Hold uh, on now. Because I, I keep buying stuff because the shirts be cheap. The shirts be like $25, 30 So it's yeah. like, I don't mind, you know, supporting whatever. It's just a shirt. And it's cute. Like, I like cute stuff like that. So I bought some pants from a guy. It's a lot. But I've been trying to pay attention to, like, where I spend my money at, especially since I made a mistake and bought some shoes the other day. But we ain't gonna <laughs> Man, so listen, this is just a disclaimer to anybody who has the StockX app on your phone. Watch what you're doing. So my strategy when it comes to uh, buying shoes or anything on apps where you have to bid for stuff, uh, my strategy is to just keep going until you can't go no more. So, um, once I bid something, I'll probably go down like maybe like it depends on how much it is. But this particular shoe was like four hundred and fifty dollars, right? But the actual retail price of the shoe was two twenty. Now, in my mind, I know that this is a really popular shoe, so I'm willing to pay like maybe seventy five dollars more than retail value for the shoe. But mm-hmm. when it comes to fucking Yeezys people really be trying it especially Yeezys and Travis Scott shoes stuff like that they definitely go up on the price so I was like let me just knock the price down like $65 and and then just let's start there so normally I'll do that they'll accept it and then I'll keep going you know Mm -hmm. I'm like all right well you'll do it for that would you let me get it for like $30 cheaper you know this time I don't know if they changed their policy or what (laughs) but once you bid and the person accepts the bid, you buy it. That's it. it. They charge mm. your card. So I pay. Hey, I feel like eBay is a little different. You bid, but you ain't paid yet until you pay. Exactly. So um, I normally pay with anything like that or anything online. I try to, I, I was check out with PayPal because if something goes wrong, PayPal will give you your money back with no hesitation. And I've had yeah. bad experiences with um wells fargo they don't always give your money back but paypal definitely always gives your money back so i always pay with paypal so my paypal account is linked up to it and they just they say all right this yours happy birthday (laughs) i got and then this happened as i was at the airport so i was so sleepy because it was so early in the morning i woke up in florida because that was my connecting flight and i just looked i would check my email and I saw this at um, confirmation. Da, 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 oh da, my shit. God. Wait, I bought it? And oh in my head, God. I was sitting there like trying to figure out if I really sat there and paid for it, but I didn't. Like, I didn't push that. Per- that- oh, you did. You did some. You know, it's funny. The other day, somebody accidentally sent me $28 on PayPal. And when I seen it, I'm like, I know this was an accident. And I was like, at first, I was like, let me just email them and just confirm this is real. And I was like, <laughs> you kept it? No, she actually ended up emailing me. She was like, hey, I just accidentally... And this is a complete stranger. I just looked her up online and she's like, um, some book writer. I don't know. I think... I don't know how it happened because it was my... Um, this is the thing. A lot of people... There is somebody, I think, in Texas and Oklahoma who has my name and they use my email address, which is my first name, last name, on stuff all the time. I be getting dentist appointment um, confirmations. Oh. I get cart i swear to god i'm like y'all have never ever ever used this email address like it's not like a phone number so like why are you putting this as your email address and i think that that might have what happened to this lady anyway it what sucks though i mean it's not really that deep but she sent me 28 dollars, and then paypal charged me like a dollar 50 and then i had to send her money back so i lost a dollar 50 but i gave, I gave it to her back because i knew something was up and i i felt like there was nothing suspicious about it It wasn't like a few hundred dollars it was literally 28 dollars yeah, she would have had to uh, see me by that one fifty though. <laughs> no, nah, it wouldn't even that deep. I know. I know, but it's funny though because um, 
she didn't even thank me. Oh, heifer. Anyway, I could have kept it on I recently fell back in love with the word heifer. Shout out to Gladys Knight. I was saying it before then, though. What? Hold on. What was the word she used? She said heifer, heifer, click, heifer crew. Oh, I don't even remember. She kept saying something. She said heifer club, but yeah, um, something like that, but. Speaking of which, did you watch? I did watch, and let me tell you this: I ain't gonna lie. I I really I did enjoy it. I think it's funny because I really Pat LaBelle is who everyone thought was gonna win because she's super visible. She has a bubbly personality. She got the pie. She got she can read. She can do this. She's stylish. But Gladys Knight ain't gonna play with y'all. You hear me? Oh, so good. she got she got the hits. Let me tell you, Gladys. She got the hits, the vocals, and the the she got the everything. Really, she really to me she won, and I don't know if it's because she was singing live. But it was funny that Patty didn't know that she was like, oh, what my what my lyrics at? And Gladys was like, What lyrics, honey? Let me give you this one two right quick. Um yeah, they both I think Patty just lives for the fact that she just such a diva. Like she was I bringing, love it. I love that she had the little shoes on the on the little suitcases. Yeah. I'm honey. And she that's a goal. That stuff that, that she do, like her arm flapping. Yeah, just, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> they got so many videos of that. They was like, with my food on the way to the table at the restaurant. <laughs> oh my god, Patty's so dramatic, but I love it. It was just really warm and to see that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, just, and Dion Warwick popped up, the original oh pop star. I hate that they was on Twitter dragging my girl Dion. Talking about really? She, they, they was like. Dion had to put out her cigarette before she came on stage. They kept talking about her. Oh my God. Let me tell you something. What I love when people, you know, sometimes people get old or older, they kind of not necessarily lose themselves, but they can become a little bit more like careless about things. And I just love seeing seniors because it's not even aunties. This is literally grandma status, but like yeah. being up on the times, not necessarily tech savvy, but just being involved with social media. I think it's so cool. And like, I, um, I just love seeing older people who are kind of like up with the time. I know it's a little different for them because they were grew up in the industry, so they kind of are a little hip. But when you just think of your average seventy or eighty year old, like you, they not having a way like Gladys Knight and Pat LaBelle and Dion oh, Ward. Listen, yeah. Dion Ward about to be eighty years old. Y'all better start playing with her. Okay, I was cooking during the whole time, so I didn't really get to actual watch it, but I put it on the loudspeaker so I could hear it. Period. And it it was pretty good. Like a lot of those songs, I ain't gonna lie, I really didn't know. Me either. So they start getting <laughs> towards the end. But, um, you know, I just really enjoyed it. I like to see people enjoy their craft and enjoy their music and just see, like, their history. And, um, and then just how how they work together, like, how they were so just intertwined and just congratulating each other, agree. showing each other love. It was it's just shorty. really warming. Yeah. I wish that there was a, a Real Housewives for seniors. <laughs> Child, that would be a mess. Uh, Let me I did. Some. I was laughing at the fact that they kept um, bringing up Monica and Brandy. So I'm like, y'all better get it together. (laughs) And they better because grandma said so. Okay. Um, Okay. So we were talking about bags and then you also mentioned, you know, supporting black owned businesses. And um, I came across this brand. I think one of my friends talked about this person. They were like, oh, this person's having a launch and I've been waiting so long. And I'm like, oh, let me see what this is about. And I went and I was pleasantly, pleasantly impressed. Have you ever heard of Mia Ray? Mia Ray? No, I never heard of it. So she has a brand called Glamour Holly Lifestyle. And now I don't know much about her to be totally honest, but I do know of her products. So she actually makes her own bags as well. And they are actually really cute. And I um I'm gonna probably get me one eventually. I don't I'm the thing is I'm not really a bag girl, but she has you Spanish a purse hats. girl. You got your look, you be listen, you the queen of crossbodies. You've been wearing oh, crossbodies. Since I was a child, right? I always been. Yeah. I love. I love a little bag in between my titties. That's my thing. Okay. <laughs> I just sent you. Um. I just sent you a uh a, a couple of uh, posts from her page. But anyway, so I, I, I discovered Mia Ray, and she makes you know lifestyle bags, duffel bags, handbags, uh, fanny packs, wallets. I mean, and they're actually really cute, and it's got her logo on it. And um. So anyway, I just want to shout her out. You guys can follow her on Instagram at Mia Ray M I A R A Y. And her business page is Glamaholic Lifestyle. Now, all of these things will be in the episode notes. She is African American. Her bio says, "Mom, entrepreneur, fashion, and lifestyle blogger, influencer, and creator of Glamaholic Lifestyle. Same girl, different hair. I'm about it, comma XO. Okay. Mm. All right, I might get one of the duffel bags. Oh, these are cute. Oh. I've seen this before. I'm looking at it now. My phone was loading. Yeah, it's super cute. And it's like good quality. Nobody I know got this bag, but I love that like metallic one. Okay, so um, Shop Talk. Mm, 
Well, let's so talk about the elephant in the room. We don't have elephants. I don't work at the zoo no more. But no, okay, so y'all you today associated, um, you, you associated with Delta, so I didn't associate it with Delta. I'm saying you are associated with Delta. Your sister is a Delta, so therefore <laughs> elephants is in the room. <laughs> okay. So it's been reported today, y'all, that Cardi B has filed for a divorce from offset. Again. Uh, she filed before? Yeah, girl. I don't think she had all the way filed, but she did. How you how you not all the way filed? You either file or you don't. It was verbally filed. Oh, so yeah. I but, think I think I don't know if she went through with it, but I'm she she definitely said she was getting a divorce and she kept saying it, kept saying it, kept saying it. But Whoa. this time it's actual paperwork. Yeah, she actually has filed for divorce. Like what file file mean file. But no, honestly, okay. I can't lie. I'm a little shocked because obviously they had their issues. But I will say that if they, I mean, the issues are clearly they had has been a little bit more private. And I thought that it had kind of worked it out like offset. You know how folks do when they get caught cheating. Oh my God, I love my family. I would never do, 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 do. Now, I will say I didn't really expect them to last forever. I don't really, when people get married, I literally don't expect them to last forever. So I just be like, one day they're going to get a divorce. <laughs> Not oh, everybody, sure. but a lot of these couples that are super hyper visible, I always find some kind of like falseness to it. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I feel you. So I'd be like, oh, they probably doing too much. I don't think it's going to last. Now, there are a lot of couples where I'm like, I genuinely like, I love this for y'all. But I just feel like, especially in the industry, it's just kind of tough. They get, they move, they move fast. They make decisions fast and they divorce fast. So, you know, anyways, honestly, really unfortunate. I would hate to see, a, um, you know, this couple fall apart. I like, I, I mean, I, I like my image of them together. You know what I'm saying? But nobody's perfect. They, they were not even together that long before they got married. I mean, at least they made it three years, I guess. But yeah. What are your thoughts? Um, I definitely felt it coming, not like right now, but I definitely seen that it com- that it's coming. Um, it's something about rappers. Like, I don't know what it is about male rappers. Not many of them are faithful. And I don't want to put that jacket on all their backs because now everybody's not the same. But usually when you're dealing with a guy in the industry like that and you're young, like they're under 30, um, you know what I'm saying? They got married and they just really like, you they really be living that life like they live the life of superstars and yeah. young superstars at that so i feel like with all the stuff that he does in his career and how she is because she's really busy as well stuff is gonna happen and she definitely seems like the type to leave i guess you can say not for real but <laughs> she yeah, to be fed up. i mean she has yeah, been she embarrassed did. enough by him i mean even when yeah. they had just gotten married even while she was pregnant yeah, it's a mess. So, um, I hope that, you know, this is something that she really wanted to do. I feel like um, usually when people do this, they either feel free or they feel like they made a mistake. I feel like, I hope she feel like she's free. Yeah, it's kind of tough. It's sad because I, I remember seeing her. Po- I, went, I looked at one of the behind the scenes videos for WAP and he was there with her. But, you know, things can just change. Cause sometimes- Girl, they was just together last week. It was Culture's birthday. You're and right. they was like dancing with each other, so it wasn't like they was just there to, you know, they weren't giving Jada and little baby. But <laughs> you know, the interesting thing about relationships, though, man, things can be really bad and they can get good and they can get bad. But sometimes the bad just builds and builds and builds. And so, so some people, it's like, oh my god, why y'all break up? And it's not just, oh, he cheated. It could be he cheated this time, last time it was this, last time it was that, and it's like, I'm, you know, what I'm saying, you know, and not that cheating is the only reason, but that's usually what it is. But I just think that it's it's just interesting. Like when I think about relationships that I've had and I've broken up with dudes, the reason that we broke up wasn't just that situation. It was the straw that broke the, broke the camel's back. It's like, listen, you got to go. But I'm also, um, you know, now, I mean, obviously now that I'm in my thirties, I look at things completely different, but I'm just not a fan of people getting married as young as they were. I think she was, what, she, was she even 24? I don't even know, but Mm-hmm. I just feel like when you're that young and you are getting into your career and you really are understanding who you are, you hyper visible, it's just kind of tough to really grow a life with somebody. And you throw parenting in the mix and it's just something like I always tell people like, you know, marriage is supposed to be forever. So let's say we expect it to live to our hundreds and you get married at 20. Mm-hmm. Are you trying to be with this same person for 80 years do you even know that yet do you even know who you are to be ready to make that kind of agreement with somebody and maybe some people do but i just think when it comes to people in the industry it's just you know to us is a pretty picture but in reality it'd be so much going on they just be making decisions to be making decisions to me um i definitely know who i am i'm 31 and if i get married yeah 
Yeah, no, I agree. If I'm I get married, I'm joking. I'm talking shit. Well, my point is just that I think that the twenties is is like finally when people start to become independent and free. You know what I mean? I think if you are somebody who has people have you know public access all the time, it's kind of tough to make a long term decision like that when you don't even know where your life is headed. But you know, I know people who were engaged at twenty four and they just swore up and down that they knew what was going on. And then at twenty eight, they called the wedding off and then they realized that you know I was right. Mm. <laughs> but no i just you know i just want i just want people i think that marriage is cool when you see a couple that looks good and it's shiny and they do all this cool stuff it's easy to be like okay win the wedding win the wedding but like marriage is forever like i don't think people should be focused primarily on the wedding they should be trying to build a solid foundation did you watch the show cheer on netflix the shy the show it's called cheer cheer oh no you mean cuties no it's called cheer this is old Okay, no, I didn't watch it. Um, I watched. I like that show. I was watching Cheer for a minute, but one of the guys from that show, he um, and he had like a really, really um big come up story on the show. So, um, he was like one of the main characters, but he was he under FBI investigation for allegedly soliciting sex for minor child. Oh, I did see that. I did see that. So is he, is he a kid himself? He looks super young. Okay. So I don't know when the TV show was filmed, but they all were in high school at the time. And then wait, college, if I'm not mistaken, they must, they might've been in college or something, but they not that young. They were well, they young, but they, they only like 21, maybe like 19 mm. But really I, I think on the show they were, but I think now he's probably like 23 because that's so old. Dang, yeah. that's, oh my God, man. I'm going to tell you, I say this all the time. People be dealing with some sick sexual stuff, man. Sick. Yeah. Sick. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Yeah. I can't. I don't even know what to say about stuff like that. I just really, I really get sad because like I said before on previous episodes, um, that shit just traumatizes people forever. Like, you have to live with that thought of somebody doing that to you forever, and it can cause you to not have a normal life. Listen. Like, I know people that can't even, like, sleep with their doors open because, you know, they have traumatic experiences yeah. when they're young from stuff like that, or, um, you know, they wake up screaming or, you know, certain things like that. And I just really get sad because I'm like, damn, that really fucked you up. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes. you don't know how bad that ruins ruins people's lives. Like, that shit is fucked up and disgusting. Like, I hate it. Oh, Need Jesus. It. Yeah, that's honestly really sad. Um, he, apparently, I did see a, a post saying that he allegedly denied it, but that's obviously what they do when they don't want to. I mean, I, I have to do is say, no, I didn't. Right. Honestly, that's sick of this because I have not watched the show. But was he a cheerleader? Yeah, so he was a he was a cheerleader, um, and he was he was he was going to like the little camp or whatever or whatever they had going on, like the little whatever. But he was trying to get into um, on the actual team, and he will always never get on the team because you know I don't know I guess it was his weight or something. But he had finally made it, like to one of the competitions. That's what it was for. But yeah, he was a cheerleader. But I think he was more so like a tumbler or like the guy who catch. It's just right. sick, man. I can't even lie. It's just disgusting. I'm sick. I'm sick of hearing about people having these kind of issues. It's like, why you can't just go to the kitchen, cook your food, go to the bathroom, go to sleep, wake up, go to work? Why you got to be messing with minors and why you got to be if, stealing sex from people? Only if life was that easy. You think? I. I mean, it's that easy for me. I'm. I'm sorry. Yeah. When it comes to stuff like that, yeah, it's that definitely easy. But I'm saying, in general, yeah. Um, so Kiki Palmer (laughs) got on Twitter today, (laughs) and she said, "Somebody in Florida, please give my sister a job. I'm tired of her asking me for money." (laughs) And so somebody said, "What industry does she like?" She said, "Criminal justice, but Wendy's will do." So Wendy's, <laughs> Wendy's ended up sending her the job application. I see that they sent the link, the career link. That's hilarious. When I tell you that is so funny. Would you be embarrassed thing, if somebody, if your famous relative posted that? No, because <laughs> I'm like, girl. So I guess you know what people, people be. Um, oh, it's so funny when I think when I see. I don't know the story between her and her sister, but I, it's always a situation where somebody in the family got money. And then other folks want a piece of it. Oh my God. You need to get a job. Really... Master P was just talking about this. I'm not ATM. You I ain't the only million. First of all, I don't if I'm a millionaire 
and y'all are living below poverty, that's actually not my fault. <laughs> but now obviously i want my people to be in a position where they can be doing a lot better but everybody can't be helped and only people who will know that is the person that's in the family with that person so you know because there's some Um, people man you can get them some money today it's a hundred dollars today it's five thousand tomorrow and then it's investing my business the week after that when they don't actually do that and now you wrong and you act like you don't don't know nobody because you don't want to just be throwing your money in the trash can yeah and then the thing about it is people don't be taking that money serious like i know so many people that be lying they'll ask people for money and don't even use it for that oh reason. my god that's yes. the part that's the part yes. like you selling like you they give you money i had a client just recently tell me that they gave their niece twenty five thousand dollars for a car oh and she got her body done <gasps> See, and I, my thing is, take me, and I guess for them, honestly, it's probably easier to send them money than to go through the dealership and do all that. Dang, that's yeah. that's messed up. But she got her twenty five thousand dollars to buy hey, buy her a car, her niece. Do you not understand? I would have, I would have had me a car. You got your body done. Now you finna be walking to the bus stop with your big booty. She was like, "I hope you can drive that body." That's crazy. And then you know how folks be. Did you? Add, I mean, you gave me the money. I can do what I want to do. Honestly, don't play with me. Listen, that's why you got you got to establish the money boundaries while you still broke. The answer is no. <laughs> oh yeah, I do that now. I know for a fact if I ever get rich, I, it's gonna be some folks, I, some relatives that I just gonna have to never see again. Once, what's so crazy is for me, like anytime I post um, like a new person I've done, and they feel like I went up on that post, I get so many DMs from people like. Um, do you think you can help me y'all? I gotta get to work. I gotta do this. I just people you know dollars. Girl, yes. It'd be people that I know, but I don't be knowing them like that half of the time. But they just be literally asking me for money. This boy literally asked me for two dollars to start his t shirt line. Two dollars? Did he mean I like I started right back and say if you do crack, just say that. He literally said two dollars, <laughs> or was he just saying I'm like I'm joking? I'm not making this up. Two dollars, <laughs> two bucks, okay? Like I I hate the fact that um People be trying to like bribe me with other celebrities. Like, hey, can you do this favor for me for this person? And I'll, you know, for TFP, TFP is trade for print. So basically, I do a photo shoot for free for the pictures, just to Ooh, use promo. not the pictures. You ain't know. You ain't know. Just getting started, makeup artist. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It ain't Rihanna. <laughs> at this point <laughs> at this point the only person that i even would be willing to do stuff like that would be like people like that that i know and that who's can... even offering the prince is it a photographer or is a person who actually just don't want to pay somebody it'll be their manager or they pan- they you know wow it, it be a lot of stuff like that but Mm-mm. celebrities always talking about how random people be in their dms asking for money for rent for light bills for their tuition Whatever in the comments Oh my god, I can't even blame them for taking a leap of faith, but Jesus. I thought about doing that one time. Not no money, people. though. I would I never did that before, but I'm gonna tell you, I definitely jumped in some people DM asking to do their makeup, offering it for free, maybe. I mean, well, I don't think nothing wrong with that though. You offered a service and you're not getting nothing in return besides the ability to build your 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 client. I, I really let me screenshot this so you won't think I'm lying. Oh, the two dollars. No. Oh, I believe. Yeah. Let me say, you know, I mentioned on this show before about people sending me unsolicited cash app requests. Like, are are you crazy? I don't even want to get people. I don't even give people rides. You think I'm about to give you five dollars, ten dollars on cash? I don't care if it's ten cents. No, the answer is no. I. Call me selfish, but when I go to work, it's for my bills and for my livelihood. Nobody else. And I don't owe nobody nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. I actually gave him too much. It was one dollar. Oh, <laughs> see, this is a donation though. I'm I get this. This is like crowdfunding. Um it's so like keep in mind that I know this person, right? He's been trying he's been saying that he um he's starting a t-shirt line for about three years now keep in mind this guy has a uh, only fans he be in la with no money he be in new orleans with no money like he always traveling and my thing is the one dollar that you asked you for how many of them you had to get to la but you know what <laughs> you know what's funny he asking for a dollar but he hoping that you be generous enough to add a zero behind it or two i wouldn't 
I'm not sending you anything. I didn't even respond to that message. And he did it to me. I would think that he stopped because one time he did it to me in the middle of a conversation. Like he asked me how I was doing. Da, 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 da. Then he asked me for for like a few dollars for something. And I never responded. So then he thought that I didn't see it. I don't know what he did, but he he unsent the message and then act like he was continuing on the conversation. Ah! I, promise you, I promise you I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. Oh my God. So the fact that he sent that again and then he's talking about the same shirt that he supposed to start three years ago and I understand stuff happens, but you don't, you got a whole OnlyFans at this point. Yeah, but is he getting subscribers? Because anybody can get OnlyFans. I don't know, but she, obviously he getting something because he able to travel from California to Atlanta. And he probably walking. There's no way. <laughs> now, I can know you could probably hitchhike a little ride from New Orleans, maybe like get you a little bus ticket or whatever. I ain't tripping on that. But how you getting to L.A.? Ain't no bus coming from Georgia to L.A. You probably at the airport ask people for donations. Okay. Do you have a moment where you... Like the first time that you can recall being proud of yourself? Uh, first of all, I graduated in high school. <laughs> Let's yeah. start there. Uh, I definitely was. I, I never thought that I wouldn't graduate high school, but I had my moments, okay? <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, honestly, one of the first moments that really, really, really made me proud, one of the two, it was two different moments, but mm-hmm. around the same time, was when I got my first apartment in my name. Oh, that is satisfactory. That's like you know what I'm saying. And now that I look back at it, it's just like, oh, that apartment was so bummy. It was just a lot, you know what I'm saying. But honestly, it was just I was just proud of that moment because I was able to get an apartment. Um, I had furniture within the first week. Like I, Ooh. you know what I'm saying. And it people was, do be sit on the same boxes they use to move their stuff in. Listen, <laughs> I had furniture within the first week. I had a bed. I had everything. It was just everything for me. So that's. And then uh, when I got a car, I actually took um, driver's ed in high school and then just never did, never went and got a license. So I didn't have a license to even drive. So I didn't get my license until I was 23. And I ended up going to a driver's school. I took a, like a refresher course for one day. The next day they took me to the dealership. And then the day after that, I got a car. Period. You know what? Doing stuff like that is like the first signs of being an adult. So I can, I can definitely, it's like a good feeling. And it's like you really did it by yourself. Like, I, you know, it's going to sound outlandish, but my first time being proud of myself was not only when I graduated from high school, but the fact that I graduated from high school without getting pregnant. Now, I know that really? sounds crazy because no, I, was I wasn't having sex like that. Um, I only had, I had two boyfriends in high school. Those are the only two people I had been with, but so many of my friends were pregnant and I, I just was scared. I'm like, this could happen to me. And this is like, like, I just really legit. And that's, it's so crazy looking back. Cause it's literally like, obviously if you use protection, you shouldn't have anything to worry about, but you just don't know anything. Like, like I just was too unaware to realize that I was in control of that. Yeah. <laughs> like, but yeah. But so that was, happens or like, like, I don't know. I'd be so nervous because I'm I'm proud of my nieces for not getting pregnant in high school. Listen, and let, it was funny now, though, because so obviously I have friends who had babies 10th grade, 11th grade, 12th grade, and they were able to, you know, not, that didn't slow them down in, in their life progression. But now, shoot, they kids in high school, they, they about to have a house they sell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's how my sister is now. My sister don't know how to act because my niece is in college, so she just be so bored she just was ready for them to go now she'd be bored that's how it'd be no, I, mean, yeah. I think i hate that i love being alone because child stuff like that i would be happy listen who you tell i'm twerking in every room <laughs> <laughs> but um but you know what i um i think we have similar proud moments though because i um so growing up my mother didn't have a car still does not have a car never had a driver's license so um no we really we we didn't have a car she didn't have a license so to me the only way that i was going to be able to drive is if i went out and like learn on my own so anyway when I got a car, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, wow, I really got a car. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> like, I want to say I was in the car with you like the first day or the first week you got your car when we had to go get your emissions. Definitely, when you stayed down the street, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. look at that ticket. Yeah, you got your first ticket. Shout out to Cindy, y'all. I had my car for one week and got a ticket. No, it was more than a week. It was uh, it, it was um, a, a month because my, uh, okay, let me just tell y'all what happened. So I had met this guy, right? We never, like, it was literally just a conversation. But we, I was talking to this guy. 
And um, he he was like, yo, my friend, sell, I know this dude sell cars. I got you. Don't you even worry. So he took me down to this spot of Old National. I got this 95 camera for $1,200. And I was like, perfect. Because I didn't have no money. I was working at the zoo making six twenty seven twenty five, making minimum yeah. wage, part-time. I think I had a side job working for the Braves or something like that. But it really wasn't a lot of money. Anyway. Got this car. It works fine. Now he get he gave me a paper tag, and I think the tag might have said something like one ten oh whatever year it is. I couldn't get the car to pass emissions. Now, now that I know what I know now is that he could not have. I don't think he was supposed to sell. Like I could have sued him through the lemon law, which people was telling me, but I didn't know how to do it. I didn't know how to go about it. It just was like, okay, so somebody help me with yeah, it. Yeah. But anyway, I um me and Draco were riding around. I went to this place to get my, I went to Cindy because he got his own emission station, got it tested. It failed. So I went to the shop he suggested and then they would tell me all the stuff I need to do to get it fixed. It was just a lot y'all. So anyway, I finally get it fixed to pass emissions and we're driving down honey. It's so funny. Cause looking back at that time, I didn't want to take the highway. So we took the streetway from the West Listen. side all the way to Morrow, Georgia. Yeah. <laughs> Forest park. Deep in Forest, Forest park. park. Yes. And so anyway, I got, I got, um, I got pulled over. I don't even know the real reason why I got pulled over, but he asked for my registration and I didn't have nothing. I didn't have nothing but that paper tag. And what's funny is before this, before I got pulled over, I actually had handwritten the date on that tag because he didn't put a zero in front of the um the number. Mm. So I, t- I think it was, it went from, uh, I don't know. I just know I, I use a Sharpie. Okay. So the car was way more than 30 days old, oh. but I, because I didn't have the time, I didn't, I didn't know what, the, anyway, y'all, I don't know. I got a ticket for an unregistered ve- vehicle. That's what it came down to. Now, um, I was supposed to get my car towed and impounded. Okay. I was literally on my way to get my tag on my way to the place. And the guy, he gave me a ticket, which is, he was gracious. I'm grateful for that. Cause I could have really just got a goddamn car. Now I'm back on the bus. Now what I'm gonna tell my coworkers when we on the same yeah. bus at five points, but yes, man, I got, I got that car and that car lasts me about two and a half years. And then it started giving me all kinds of trouble, transmission engine, whatever, but it got me, it got me through, you know, whatever. But yeah. this, this may sound a little crazy, but I always wish that my first car was something like that. Like a little, really? I always wanted that era of having a raggedy car. So that way I can, when I get a fire car, I can really appreciate it. Oh, let me, you see how I've been driving my car. It's about to be nine years. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be like, you know, I should have had a raggedy car first because I needed it. To- and what's crazy is I went from that raggedy car to buying another one off Craigslist, this Malibu that I had for three months that had a leak in the, in the gas, in the I, um, engine. I, Totally forgot you had that car. Uh huh. And I and what's and it sucks because um once I so eventually I had to get after three months I got the car that I have now, but I could have saved. I mean I spent like twenty five three thousand dollars on that car and I could have used that to I could number one pocketed it or put it towards a new car because I wasn't even making a lot of money for me to even have three thousand dollars at my disposal. Like what the freak? But I just didn't know better, so whatever. But I when I got my car, I got now I was very proud. I remember literally saying I'm gonna ride this car till the wheels fall off. Well, y'all. The other day I was it's driving. Really Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the wheel fell off? No, it didn't. But something is wrong with my brakes. I was getting off the 16th Street exit. You know that little curb by that fire department? Yeah. My car didn't break. I swear to God. Literally. Wait, hold on. 16th Street Bridge? No, not the bridge. Okay, so I was going to Ikea. So, you know, when you get off the highway. Got it. That's the okay. Do, well, my new. Okay. Okay. I was breaking to slow down because I was getting off the exit and my car did not stop. I swear to God, y'all. Really? I'm hitting the brakes and it's grinding. So I think it's my rotors. I literally I had to I had to swerve my car into that little median. And it wasn't a median that would hit my car. It was like a divider on the ground. I had to hit it to stop my car. I swear to God. Oh and then God. I finally get it to stop. And I'll drive it to the next stop sign and it breaks just fine. And it's been breaking fine since then. But it's been a couple of times that I've been driving it and it would it would take me extra effort to break. So now I have this car that I'm only taking up because the grocery store in my house is the is the next red light. So I I'm I'm comfortable driving to the red light because I'm I'm not going beyond 30 miles per hour. But I think that my car is is it needs rotors, number one. And I think the issue with the brakes is because I'm going at a certain speed. So anyway. The wheels falling off, y'all, and it's time to get a new car. <laughs> Man. But alone, it's been a good eight years. I really haven't had no operational issues. It's all been stuff like that, stuff that gets natural wear and tear. So, 
yeah. What's so crazy about this story is that I remember when I was living in Marietta, one of my friends moved in. Actually, I had four friends that live in the same apartments as me. Now, you moved over there, too, but you moved after I left. Yeah, after the rent went up. Actually, yeah. it went up a little bit, but ain't it? <laughs> yeah. So you had moved on that after I had left, but at the time, we was all staying in the same apartment, in the same apartments. He wanted me to come pick him up from the airport, right? And since mm-hmm. we were living in the same apartments, he was like, you could just come pick me up in my car. I would rather you pick me up in my car than yours because you won't have to use no gas. That was his way of saying, basically, so I won't have to pay you no gas money. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. That's like a 20-minute drive, honey, but okay. So I got in his car and drove to uh pick him up from the airport but i was like driving around at first just to get some food before i saw him i was hungry literally on the 10th street not the 16th street uh or whatever literally on 10th street i got off the highway because the car would not fucking stop Mm, so sounds familiar now he told me his brakes was it was uh he needed it he needed some new brakes so they was like scrubbing so bad mm-hmm. Sound they, went like my on, car. <laughs> they went out on me so i couldn't even stop the car like and every time i would try to um press the brake it would just sound like somebody was taking a bag of cans and just yes! that's what it sounded like yes yeah, it's it's rotors you can feel it too when you hit the brakes you can feel that grinding feeling under the wheel it's some rotors. yeah it found like it sounded like somebody had a bag of cans and it was just like dragging and then i put i had to put the car in emergency brake when i got to um the gas station and then i was like i don't know what the fuck to do so then um ran into somebody i ran into somebody and um they were trying to see they told me they let me know what was going on i had to just leave the car there somebody had took me back home to get my car and then i went and got him and i took him to his bro car <laughs> and you got your gas money i just <laughs> what <laughs> he was, he was and, and guess what he had what? the nerve to be mad at me for what he said that um i could have used the emergency brake and i still you can't been. drive using the emergency brake love and he was like he was getting mad at me he said that i was putting too much force on the brakes that's why they did it like i said wow okay so first of all and i'm guilty of the same thing when it gets to the point where your rotors are bad it's your fault okay you knew that you knew something was wrong with them got this is the thing Girl, this same friend uh had a pee cup in his car and it spilled <gasps> so <laughs> Why in college there was this girl? She wasn't my she was my friend's roommate, and she had a cup of pee in her closet, just on on the top shelf for no reason. And to this day, we don't even know why because she didn't smoke, she didn't do no drugs, and she didn't have a job. So like, <laughs> <laughs> so you remember who I the dude I used to mess with in college, right? His friend, the one with the hair. He was talking to her, and so uh, when they had fell out, we was like trying to sabotage her. And we was like, and she got pee in her closet. Why this man was like, Shawty, you got pee in your closet. What? He asked her that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and she had a booty pad. This was before BBS and everything. Shawty had oh, a booty pad. No. <laughs> I seen a video on Instagram last week. Somebody was shaking and their booty pad fell out. Okay. See, they supposed to get the high waist one where it's just secure. Mm. Uh, Skims coming out with pregnant uh pregnant maternity wear, and I think I'm gonna get it because I'm pregnant. Then you already get some Skims. You been you a consumerist? Okay, so let me be honest. The Skims that I do have, they don't have um the kind. Okay, so the kind that I got is the one that obviously shapes the midsection. Mm-hmm. Now the ones that they have that shape the midsection, it's only two. You either gonna get the thong or you are gonna get the panties. That's okay. all I got to say. So, in other news, I need to get some regular ones. Gaucho. <laughs> got so, gaucho. <laughs> I know this is probably too much information, but I didn't get the thong one. Let me just clarify because I don't want to Oh, because that's definitely what it sounded it. like. <laughs> no, I didn't get the thong one. Let me just clarify. I didn't get it. I got like the regular underwear, which is obviously shaped like women's underwear. So I wear them on top of my underwear. So I put my underwear under it to not make it uncomfortable. Okay. 
I know that sounds a lot. Do what but... you do. I actually have a um a body shaper, but I don't like it at all. I think I got it because I was um there was a oh there was a point where I had gained too much weight basically. Yeah. And I was going to I think I was going to an event and I wanted to wear a dress something like that, but I it it's uncomfortable unless I get the one with the straps. I'm just like Alicia, what are you doing? Just lose the goddamn weight and stop being lazy. What did you do to lose weight? I just started counting calories. Okay, so what's better, do you think, um, count, counting calories or carbs? Because I feel like people who count carbs, they lose weight fast, too. Um, They do lose weight, but I just don't. To me, it's, it's harder. To me, if I count calories, I still can technically eat what I want and still lose weight. I don't want to lose weight fast because if I lose it fast, then I'll go back to my habits. I'm going to gain it back fast. If I count calories, I am. this is how I eat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's not like I'm not cutting out ice cream, I'm not cutting out sandwiches, but when I reach my goal and I cut out carbs and now tomorrow I want a sandwich to celebrate, I'm probably gonna gain that weight back. So to me, because I can still eat a 300 calorie ice cream bar and have however many calories left and, and I'm gonna keep eating ice cream. Like to me, it's just more of a disciplinary thing. The carb, no carb thing, it does work, but to me, it's just not a long term permanent goal. I think that I want to try that. Like I, I, I did it before. Um, but not long term. Like I did it for like two weeks. Like I ain't eat nothing with carbs in it. <laughs> I can't but, do that. I'm not even gonna lie. And what thing is, everything has carbs, even fruits and stuff. So it's just not realistic to yeah. me. Um, it's almost like keto because with keto, that's what that's basically what it is. It's yeah, just, that is what it is. Yeah, and I know yeah. people who have been on keto for years, and I mean, literally on have lost hundreds of pounds. But most people I know that didn't have just gained it all back. I have gained weight back over time. But I know it, the reason why is because of like the foods that I have now cut out of my life is the reason why I gained that weight back. But I've lost a lot of weight while I've been at home. And when I count the, so I use the My Fitness Pal app, and um, I have it to where I lose one pound a week. And yeah. to me, it's like I think that's like two that like nineteen hundred calories. I think which to me, when you calculate how much stuff is, it's really a lot of food. So I end up eating less than that, and then I just you know. Um, I do want to try keto though. I, I've, I've been thinking about that. My only thing is I would do like, um, seafood keto and what is that? Basically like, cause you can do like vegan keto, pescatarian keto, huh. but with keto, you know, you only eat like you can eat whatever fatty meats you want and then a vegetable. You can't mm. really eat like rice or yeah. and stuff like that. So with the seafood keto, um, I don't really like a lot of fish and I would want it, you know, you, it has to be baked. It can't really be fried. So that's already putting me down to just salmon. That's who, but I, you know, that put me down to salmon, but I get tired of salmon quick. I'm so tired of salmon. Um, and I've realized that I've been just buying cheap salmon all this time. Cause when I have like real fresh salmon slaps. Oh yeah. You put me on to the salmon at Publix and ever since then. Okay. Next question. Do you fear getting old? Um, yes and no. I don't fear getting old. I fear gray hair. Girl, I'm getting so many really? damn gray hairs on my beard and I hate it. Everybody loves it and I hate it. Like, I don't think... Does that mean I'm I'm scared of getting old, though? I no, because like people hair. are literally born with gray hair, so... Yeah, I don't know. Like, I really want my hair to be black, but I'm not scared of getting old. I'm actually proud to say my age because, um, for one, I know so many people personally that didn't make have you know didn't make it to facts me. facts um not only that i feel like the way that i look i look way younger than a lot of these people that's also way facts. younger than me so facts what am i embarrassed about <laughs> like i'm not embarrassed about nothing i literally tell people my age and they're like you are what like people definitely clients. don't be believing me and i know because i don't even care myself like I, the only time i look probably close to my age is when i get dressed up for work and i'm like having a suit and all that on but honey you see me right now t-shirt headband <laughs> Or exactly cash money records t-shirt <laughs> <laughs> <You're not. laughs> i'm not scared again oh i just don't want these gray hairs for at all like I, and That's i can't and the crazy thing about me is i can't even use black hair dye because i'm allergic to it oh really sometimes when people try to yeah. color their gray hair though it don't take it be just looking like gray hair that you tried to color tell me about it <laughs> 
<laughs> Use a sharp only thing, The only thing that works for me is mascara, and I have to remember to wipe that off before I go to sleep. Oh, yeah, that's short term. Yeah, I actually have not discovered any gray hairs yet, but you know, I, so I look, you know, I have always, you know how people be making fun, oh, you old. You know how younger folks be like, oh, she old. Yeah. You could be 27 and they call you old, but I have actually never been that person that like age shame, because to me, it's like, shouldn't you want to reach that point? Like, to me, being grown and being mature is a blessing, obviously. Now, I do think that life can be a little depressing when you start getting to your 80s and stuff, because you know that you're, you don't, you're, you're, I mean, all of our days are number but it's kind of like yeah. you know you don't have 50 more years on this earth you know what i'm saying stuff like yeah. that so i um i think that i i don't i definitely don't um, don't fear getting old but i do fear not doing what i set out to do and i think that the closer you get to a certain age it's obviously not impossible but i think your responsibilities grow and things become more difficult which is why i'm so glad that i don't have kids yet Cause there's just so many things I want to do that I think that I want to be so carefree about it. And I don't want, like, I think having a kid would make me change, you know, segue. And I don't want that. Yeah. Um, I agree though. Like, um, to piggyback off what you said, I don't think I've ever aged shame either, but what I did do that I want to, that I stopped doing was, um, like shame people for working in certain jobs at certain ages. Oh, like, I, remember- I, I don't know if I'm gonna grow out of that, but I understand. <laughs> <laughs> um i knew these boys and what well, these men and they were like 42 and one was working at kroger one was working at starbucks and they were twins Ooh. you know what starbucks is kind of popular amongst like that's one of the, the jobs that people be you know, no matter how old you're like, oh, okay well i don't know i've been to starbucks and i've seen older people i'm like is this their only job yeah but i just was like uh but just like you said is that their only job that could be their second job or something that they do part-time you know and i don't know their story so that's why i was like you know what and now that i'm older and i realize how dumb that was but um the same thing what you're saying about like i feel like i you know it's a lot of stuff that i want to do that i haven't done yet like i really do want to live in la for at least a part of my life just because Mm -hmm. i've never really lived out of georgia and that place in particular just because i like the weather um it definitely fits my career life what about the weather right now no not right now we so i'm 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 gonna bring that up because i'm gonna tell you what i just found out the other day for the first time i'm probably dumb because i ain't just whatever (laughs) but anywho um i do want to live that part of my life so i feel like um i don't want to wait till i'm too much older just because i do want to i like being active like i like going out and i don't want to be too old where i can't handle shit yeah um, i do want to go out there soon but um to the wildfires i did not know that wildfires were started from people I thought the sun did it. Both. Yeah, but uh, yeah, but apparently these ones that's out there now have been started by from a, a gender reveal. Yes, I didn't know that. I thought that this was like, and this is why people should be mindful of even littering because you know, fire wildfires have been started from people. Like all you need is the right temperature or the right environment to re- like the not right literally, but these are the things that are that are necessary to cause it. But people have flicked cigarettes out of their car and then started a fire on the side of the road. Yeah. But no, yes, you're right. Yeah, because I did not um, know that though. Yes, yes. And the thing is, California is obviously they have hot temperatures, so it's not really hard to keep to make it like it spreads very quickly. But they have had they are prone to wildfires without human um contributions, but a lot of them are started by people. Yeah. Did not know that. So I was like, damn. Yeah. And it's sad because they have so many tra- I mean, I'm I just you know what the wildfire thing in California is un- like especially what's going on right now, it makes me uneasy because even like with the earthquake with them sinking, you know, the state itself is sinking below sea level. It's just like Jesus Christ. Like yeah. I want to live here, property is already expensive. Maybe I shouldn't go there then. Why the states that well, be sinking so much? Because New York ain't if, if Ain't they state sinking? I think all the coastal uh-huh. states, to be honest, are sinking. I mean, Georgia is on the coast, so I was about to say we on the coast now. Yeah, but we, you know, it's just something that's happening slowly. I think that honestly, I think that we'll start seeing the real effects of that in like ten more years, on the ten to twenty more years. Why are the coast states be the most lit ones? Um, because they buy water, probably. <laughs> you know, to think about it, when people, when the colonizers arrive, and I mean colonizers because that's what they are. Um, that was the first place they found when they landed. They didn't land in Tulsa, Oklahoma. They landed, yeah. the, the the water led them to land. So I think that just, you know, naturally became a popular destination. Yeah, because it seemed like all the, the coastal states like New York, Georgia, Florida, Texas, California, 
Ain't nobody going to Maine. I mean, I heard they got good lobster. Oh, ain't Martha's Vineyard in Maine? I guess so. I want to go there so bad. I just really? want to feel Because Obama went. Yeah, like I want to just feel rich and just, I feel like stuff like that is just. Rich is a mentality. So grand. All right, Miss Walsh. <laughs> well, no, um, I want to get back to your thing about <laughs> the job things. Because I think I go back and forth with the uh, job shaming. And you know what? For me, it's not necessarily the job that I shame. But it's just, I hate seeing people not have drive. It really grinds my gears. It like, irritates me. Because I be like, you know, like even what Kiki Palmer was saying. Or maybe there was somebody. Yeah, she was saying like, all these jobs, it could be a starter job and it can turn into something else. So I don't necessarily shame it. Like you can end up being a content creator or a manager or an owner or something like that. But I just, I do hate seeing people 40, 50. I mean, it's some adults that I, that was around me when I was growing up who were still earning minimum wage at jobs. Now I personally feel that everyone has the ability to want more, but some people don't. And that's not my yeah. fault. That's not my problem. It shouldn't be none of my business, but it's just tough for me because I'm such a, a hustler. I just be thinking like, you don't want more. You don't mm. want to do this and this and that. But some people, they just okay with that. And I need to accept it, but it's really hard. Um, Now that aspect of it, I definitely feel the same way. Cause I feel like I hate when, especially a person like me, you know what I'm saying? I do a lot of, I've done a lot of sacrifice and like, especially like, um not taking any more jobs like I remember at one point I was in like deep into my career and I was just like having a low moment and I definitely was about to work at a call center you know what I'm saying but I yeah. I stopped myself because I'm like damn that's gonna really take me away from my my what I'm really doing yeah um so you know when I do have those those moments like that I just kind of just put on my thinking cap and try to figure stuff out opposed to me just getting up and like, oh, let me go just do this. Just Right, and I get it. It's a means of survival. It's like, well, I need to get a job. And so yeah. I think it's easy to pick up those kind of jobs, like a car center or a restaurant or whatever, right. because they have high ton of turnover. It'll get you some quick money. But, I mean, it's the people that I just people see. That, people who just, I don't know, like, if you, I feel like people who job, this is no shade to you but people who like, Save me. people who like um job shop job hop like that <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> there ain't no shade to me because let me say something I, but see here, here's the thing though you in your career so you know you it's pretty much the same thing when i say job hop i mean what you did before you was in your career you was yeah at, yeah, yeah which i was doing but well, I, technically it was the same thing because it was all entertainment pretty much who you your jobs yeah, I guess so. I mean, I definitely job hop, but but I was also in college and I didn't take none of them jobs seriously. I mean, I took them seriously, but I knew for a fact I wouldn't okay, be doing it. Okay, but what's about you doing that and you... Yeah, okay, huh? but what about you doing that late in the game and you not in college? Well, that's what I'm... And that's where I have the problem. It's just kind of like... And, you know, and I there have been so many people that I've had... I've actually reached out to try to help and then they would no call, no show to interview or they would get the job and then don't do the work. I know people who have left a good job to go back to the job where they was doing hardly nothing, but also making hardly nothing because they just didn't want to put in the work. And so that's where I have an issue. It's just like, come on, like people desire, I know you desire to have more. So what is it like every, I know everybody doesn't have the same access, but listen, I saw this tweet today from um, somebody that we actually went to school with and let me go find it because it really summarized how I be feeling. He said, I've been around enough people who are doing big ish to know that the key to being exceptional is deciding who you will be. Knowing the right people and being in the right place at the right time will for sure help you, but you can maneuver yourself into those positions as well, which I agree. You know how it all- Yeah. It's called finesse. Fin- that's I'm what I'm definitely- saying. I'm definitely for I finesse myself into my whole career. Like me too. <laughs> like honestly, for real, for real. Like even it started when I first got my first job. I finessed that job. When I got my first job as an actual makeup artist, I was working at Glam Bar and I have no experience prior to that. I ain't do I, I never really did like real people makeup. Like I would do like shoots here and there, but this is people that's coming in telling me what they want to get done instead of me choosing it to put on, you know, yeah, doing yeah, what yeah. I know I can do on mm-hmm. at a photo shoot. Like at a photo shoot, I'm like, oh, I know I could do that. Let me just put this on them. Yeah. This is people coming in like, hey, I want to get this, 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 and this. It's like, I'm like, what the fuck is I'm about to do? But I finagle my way into that job and then and that's what i'm saying and it's like obviously you don't have to lie even though lying does work um i just think that people gotta put themselves like like some of my friends from my last like none 
professional job, I guess you could say. It was professional, obviously, but it wasn't like my career type of job. When I explain to them what they're doing and how it aligns with the job they want, they be so shook. And I'm like, you have always been doing the work. You just need to convince those people that you're doing it. They don't know you. Jo- they don't know your job. They never worked here. You know what yeah. I'm saying? You just got to be creative, honestly. And that's um, I said I was going to do a YouTube video about it. But I, for real, for real, like, I just wish, and when I tell they just be so shook. And I'm like, you ain't think about that before. So you just going to do this job until something else came by? Mm. Couldn't, can't do that. I don't like that. I think you, you need, first of all, you need a YouTube channel. I, I have been thinking about, so my, the room that I'm going to be recording the YouTube, I'm waiting on some more art to come, but I have been building on it. But um, I'm going to, I'm going to do, I'm not going to be like a, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be somebody that's going to be a YouTuber, but I, I do have a list of topics that I'm going to. I mean, you could, I could see you doing. I can see you doing some. Um... I can't do this and that at the same time. It's a lot. It takes a lot. I just, I can't. I mean, I can, but something's gonna have to take less of me, and I don't. Yeah. It's gonna, you know. That's why I need a manager. If y'all know somebody that can manage me, let me know. Because I would love for Alicia to do it, but she got four jobs. I can't. And my job, my my primary income that pays me very well is dragging me. Okay. Yeah. So, and I understand that. So, I need a manager. If somebody out there can help me. Can you tell the difference between the taste of waters? Are you one of them people? Because people be acting Ooh, like that. Yes, I am. And you know what's so funny? When the first time I noticed the difference, I was like, this is what people be talking about. It was Deer Park? I don't even, you know what's funny? I don't even be remembering the brands. I just don't, I just try to avoid cheap water. Like I'll get like smart water or um, life water, or like some pH balanced water. But you can absolutely, let me tell you something. You drink some some water from Florida faucets and then you tell me if you can taste the difference between the water. <laughs> It's like so my thing about the water is it's crazy that actual Kroger water and like Publix water stuff on grocery store. Yes. It's good. Yep. It's good water. water. And then then Dasani and Aquafina is over here giving you sewage. Because they are that's filtered water. It's not the same, but spring water and filter water. Yes, you're right. So I avoid, I mean, I will get Deer Park, uh, Dasani and all those, Aquafina, oh. if I have I mean, to. I would, yeah. If so, I well, sometimes I have to because if you go to a function or whatever, but I never, ever buy those. I mean, it's got to be one of those situations where somebody like, here, I got you some water. And I'm like, okay. But yeah. you can definitely taste the difference for sure. Yeah, I buy Kroger water now. I have a water filter in my refrigerator so I can eliminate the use of plastic. So I have my own Dasani dispenser. <laughs> I'll just play it. Are there some things that you feel like you're interested in now that people that you would have never imagined? You know how some people like, oh, you bougie now. You do this. You do that. Like for me, I don't eat noodles no more. I can't. I, no, ramen noodles is done. I'm talking about packed noodles. Can't do it. I, um, let me just start off by saying I love ramen. I love packed ramen. Okay. Still. Call it what you want. I, I can't it, something about it make me, but I'm saying so what's what is something for you that's just like wow I never it's thought different um or Kool-Aid I can't do Kool-Aid either yeah so I don't drink um I only drink fresh juices or juices that don't have concentrate and all the other stuff like I don't do that even the only one that I will say that I'll drink um is Simply's because Simply's ain't all the way right like I know they're trying to make it seem like that's like the healthiest one but I didn't know they thought it was healthy. Shoot, I thought it was just uh. It's definitely not minimal ingredients. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't. Juice is not healthy in general. I mean, orange juice is terrible. It's full of sugar, full of acid, and it's not even added sugar. It's just natural. Yeah. So I, I mean, is there really even a healthy juice? No, I mean, in that way, no. But I definitely don't want one made out of like some stuff I don't know what it is and concentrate. Like Sunny so Delight. Oh, listen. Or you who don't bring that stuff around me. Because yeah. I'm going to drag. I was shook when I found out that you whose wasn't chocolate milk. It was chocolate drink. I'm like, so ain't no milk in this. Uh, well, I mean, it makes sense because it'll be spoiled. Yes, because it'll be on but the show. What is it? Chocolate drink. What's the drink? Let's find out. I don't want to know, but find out. <laughs> and what's the other one? Um, Tahitian, the fruit punch? <laughs> Tahitian treat? Not, te- not, the, not, the, not the, the soda one. Oh, the- Hawaiian punch. Yes. It's- Hawaiian Punch is literally baby oil with Kool-Aid in it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you... That's how thick it is. It's like water, baby High fructose corn syrup, okay. red flag number one. Um, let me just jump around. We from milk, from milk. Um, cocoa, corn syrup, spice, 
<laughs> a blue blah 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 blah. It's like contains milk or soy. Or, or okay. Ew. Ew. Even looking yeah. at it, it's like you. Yeah. You look I like doo doo. I don't drink no juice like that. Um, I drink simply's. The only time that you can kind of get away with it is at the bar. Like if I get something to drink or get a mixed drink when I'm out, of course they're not using fresh juice or fresh whatever. But I, you know, I mean, yeah. it's mixed anyway, so it's not gonna be good. Just eliminate as much as possible. Yeah, like I definitely try to drink water a hundred percent of the time, but realistically, I I can't. Every now and then I go to Taco Bell and get a, a Baja Blast. That's my vice. Period. <laughs> um, what else? I don't eat. I don't really eat Alfredo like that anymore. No I feel like. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't even. I can't do Alfredo. I can't. Really? Somebody is just. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I can't even do. You know, I will take um manufactured pasta sauce red sauce but yeah. i have to make my own white sauce like if it's like a jerk shrimp pasta but if it's like a regular alfredo oh, okay, okay, okay. some about it just don't sit well maybe i gotta add some jerk seasoning in it or something like that but some about alfredo when it be on them <laughs> little, when it be on the fettuccine noodles and it's dried up a little bit you can't reheat that you need to just throw it in the trash okay <laughs> i think you just eat too deep but i don't really like him right now no more. like before i stopped eating meat i had to stop eating beanie weenies like I, that got old to me too oh yeah no um i don't like i don't eat fast food for real oh yeah me either at all uh, i mean i do get milkshakes from chick-fil-a yeah <laughs> I get some some fries or something if I'm drunk. Fries or some something, but I don't eat. I don't really eat fast food no more. Making me some Kool Aid pickles this week. Oh my god! I was, you must you 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 get that. For, I only know people from Mississippi that be eating that. Um, we ate that in Georgia. We had you never seen nobody eat Kool Aid pickles, and you never seen nobody eat the pickle with the peppermint. Anything yeah, I've else? seen both. Well, no, not the peppermint. I've seen the Kool Aid pickles for sure, but they was always people from Mississippi or some. Maybe no, you know what? I've seen it growing up now that I think about it. I was about to say, I feel Cassie, like that. Cassie eats it all the time and she's from Mississippi and I think that's why I said it. Now, we used to do a real real project that we would literally just eat a pickle with Kool-Aid. Yeah, sometimes, I do remember that. But the it's actual bad. pickle, yeah. Sometimes, yes. So that's how we would make it. I never pickle. had it, but I don't think that's going to sit well with my stomach. Listen. I remember one of my friends had made some Kool-Aid pickles a few years ago and they put some Kool-Aid and then they dropped a few nine ladies in there. But me watching P Valley um definitely want me to try that. First of all, let me just say that the pink is the all corner stars go to when I was young on Stanton Road, just so y'all know. Is it? Somebody yeah. said they saw them recording on Campbellton one day. That's hilarious. Yeah, it's so many places I recognize in there, like homegrown. I mean, it was just a lot of spots. Oh, I'm yeah. like I love to see it. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, ain't, I ain't really doing it. I'm just working and just gathering my life at the moment. Just getting, you know. I Do ain't you gotta think that, um, is there something you look forward to that make you feel like, okay, I made it? Like for me, uh, I made it moment is where I'm just literally traveling 90% <laughs> of the time. Uh, uh, I made it moment for me is going to be when I'm able to move into my dream home which is a custom house. Oh, yeah. Like, I just, I, I visited so many people that have, like, these custom homes, and I just got to have something. Yeah, like and that. that's the, I can, you know what, I would think, I would say I want a custom home, but it'll take me 20 years to get it built up because I'm a not, I'm not going to, I'm going to change my mind every day. I do, Um, one of my goals for 2020, um, 2021, um, probably going to start before then, but I do want to start growing my own food. I'm done with growing food. I'm literally done with it. Like, make sure you keep pesticides on hand. That's all I'm going to say. Oh, the bugs ate it? They are eating it. And I told my friend, I'm just going to let nature run its course. I'm going to keep watering it. So some of my tomatoes, there's something called tomato worms. Definitely been eating through my tomatoes. And um, whatever. All my indoor plants are, th- are flourishing. So I don't even give a darn. I don't want to talk about it. Thanks. So... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. It's annoying. I'm like, dang. I mean, indoor plants can get bugs too, but my pole tomatoes don't came. And they it's huge. I have like at least a good 20, 30 tomatoes out there. And some of them are dang. probably good, but I'm not going to eat them. I'm just going to grow them to see them fully bloom and then throw them in the trash. Really? Yes. Because I, I don't know what's on it, if it's healthy or something. Like, I don't know. I didn't use no pesticides. I wasn't even aware. I mean, I was aware of pesticides, but I didn't think I was going to need them. That was dumb. Yeah, you're going to need that. 
Oh, well, next caller. Four dollars down the drain. Now what we're going to do? Regrow it. Next summer. I'm not growing no more food. Promise you that. Hey. Unless I have a garden, an actual garden in my backyard where I can, but like one off stuff, I'm sorry. But anyway, anything you want to throw in there? A little, little razzle dazzle? Mm-mm. <laughs> Just talk about how you can't do shit for a bit. Oh my God. I can't even believe uh, you even let this many episodes go by without even saying that. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been another episode of OD Podcast. We got some stuff cooking. And we ain't talking about no tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't have to go down. You ain't have to go down. Yeah. Anyway, y'all, listen, I need y'all to do us a huge favor. I need y'all to share this podcast with your friends and family. We need to get our listeners up. Um, you know, I, I love, listen, I know I said all the time, I love podcasts and I know that there are some people out there that will love them too once they get introduced to it. So y'all please share it with them. Uh, leave us a review. Thank y'all. We are at 109 reviews, which is beyond me. Thank you so much. Okay. But we need 109,000 listeners. So <laughs> let's get there. And yeah. uh, yeah, share any feedback, any topic suggestions, this and that. If y'all got some people that has 2 million followers and they want to be on the show, send them our way. We'll figure out a topic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just went. All right, y'all. See you next week. Bye.